The following contest is a handicap match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 375 pounds, Kid Rick, Hardcore Psycho, and The Disciples. If this one lives up to the hype, Byron, we're in for an amazing match here tonight. There's no reason to think this one won't live up to the hype, Michael. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE. The mood's changed! And their opponents, at a combined weight of 795 pounds, the Animal Batista, the game, Triple H, and the Viper, Randy Orton, Evolution! At one time, Triple H, Randy Orton, and Batista held the world, the Intercontinental, and the Tag Team titles. You factor in the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, into the Evolution mix. You're talking about 49 combined world championships. That is an unbelievable statistic. But when you're staring at these three men, it's no surprise that Evolution is one of the greatest factions of all time. Yeah, and a faction that has stood the test of time. A faction that came together 10 years after those accomplishments of world titles, intercontinental titles, tag team titles, and picked up right where they left off. It's a big fight feel, a high pressure situation. And that is exactly where these three superstars want to be. Three legends, three surefire Hall of Famers, three of the greatest we have ever seen. The animal, the cerebral assassin, and the viper. Evolution has drawn the line in the sand. They have come to fight. To prove that they're all time greats. If you were to assemble an all-star team, a dream team of sports entertainment, it would look exactly like Evolution. Taming the Wild Beast is a cakewalk in comparison to taming the animal Batista. I think there's a good chance we'll be seeing a painful Batista bomb tonight. Painful to be putting it lightly. Devastating is more accurate. And a stick knee drop. Harsh impact. The important thing is that he doesn't overreact here. He's taken on a little bit of damage, but it's nothing he can't overcome. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys, and you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, 
There is one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman at Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair which in my mind was done without just cause and is something I don't condone. When I was Triple H here, look out, oof, there it is. Will Triple H even be able to continue? How could you question the game? He'd be smart to stay put there. Oh, face first. Is it a... And the shoulders come up. Oh, man, I don't know who to root for. Michael started discussing Evolution in 2002 and the force they became. They represented the past with Flair, the present with Triple H, and the future with Randy Orton and Batista. You might not have liked them, but you had to respect them. <laughs> not like Evolution. I loved them in Evolution because they took joy in angering just about everyone else. At one point in 2003, they held every men's championship on Raw. A true testimony to their dominance. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. What a strike. He's looking a little off balance. This is not at all where he wants to be at at this point in this handicap match. I don't know. He just seems a little intimidated from the start. And I don't remember ever seeing him look that way. Oh, the old European uppercut. Olympic slam. Nice. Oh, right to the face. He's resilient, but he may not be doing himself any long-term favors by staying in this one. This might just be the end of the road for him here in this handicap match. Yeah, so this, I would say, is a perfect blueprint for how not to win a handicap match. I hope the guys at the Performance Center are taking note. Whether you love him or hate him, if you're human, you have to feel for him right now. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan Braun Strowman absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. Ooh. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. But we saw that match from Brock. He might have it. Well, folks, watching Triple H. Leg drop! But he's got to capitalize now. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Here he goes. One time bomb! Uh, he's got him covered. Michael brought up before that Triple H is called the King of Kings, but when I think about him, I think about the different stages of his career, from the blue blood, to the degenerate, to the game, to the authority. The man's a chameleon. I learned a lot from the guy. He hired me as a wrestler, but his ability to change made me confident that I could make the jump from NXT's best wrestler to NXT's best announcer. Triple H is living proof that you can either stagnate and die or adapt and thrive. Oh, goodness! Jam your leg in a bad way. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. 
Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game there are. Triple H looking to end it. What a spine buster by the game. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. Triple H and Stephanie McMahon hold a lot of power in WWE, and they know it. They don't care who you are or where you came from. When you come to the WWE, you become their property. He's playing with him now. He'd be wise to stay right there. Boom! <laughs> uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. These guys giving this sold-out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. Ooh, what impact. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. That might be the end of Batista tonight. He's got the shoulders down. I'm not sure if the referee didn't blow that call. The animal refusing to be tamed. It's going to take a whole lot more than that. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh man, what a boot. Oh, big boot. He's stumbling some now. Guys, he's gonna have to turn things around quickly if he wants to. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Here's the tag. Big time uppercut. Oh, it's about to get worse. Look at this. Look at the elevation. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Comes up big with the reversal. You gotta believe this one's over. When Batista returned to WWE in 2014, he brought with him a new repertoire of attacks and evasions. Corey, how does mixed martial arts impact someone's matches? Holds, strikes, establishing control are already part of the superstar's DNA cult. Adding proficiency in mixed martial arts makes Batista a more complete competitor. It made the animal even more vicious. Batista's MMA training being incorporated into his offense for WWE competition also speaks to the evolution of the sports entertainment competitor. Byron, share with us your thoughts. Michael, I don't think the already dominant Batista even needed any more offensive tools. But I completely agree. At 6'6", 290, the force that's now well-versed in Kali and... Uh-oh. Hung out to dry. Night. That should do it. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Oh boy, he is rolling. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giant's opponents could be in the ring at the same time. But one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. What a stop! Good grief! Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Well, I don't think his performance here today. Beautiful technique. I'm not sure how much he has left. He's on a rampage now. Oh, boy, he is rolling.
Setting it up. Now, Brain Buster. Now it's time to capitalize. Does Orton even know where he is? He doesn't look too eager to get up. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. What an inverted DDT. This could be huge. Here we go. Randy Orton, no problem in getting out of that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. I don't know how much more these superstars can take, guys. You'd have to think something's got to give here soon. Other than myself, I don't think too many people saw this handicap match going this long. Not the uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it! Oh boy, he is rolling. Big time. Boy Buster! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of the match, guys. Wow, what a sequence. Yeah, that was amazing. He's in trouble here. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh boy, he is rolling. Looking for the finish. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. Rough landing. That might have done it, Cole. Here he goes for the win. And he closes it out. Uh oh. Oh, oh are you kidding, kidding me? Back of his neck. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. One, two. This is going to be big, one way or another. Whoa! Setting up. Big time slam. Vicious. look of Randy Orton. At what point do those thoughts creep in of what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. Going for the big one. Come on out of nowhere. This could be it. He goes for the cover. Oh, going to the top. High risk. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we are seeing. Randy Orton looking at this. He's looking at it. Cutter! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. This could do it. A uh, backdrop suplex. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Okay, oh, that just happened. He's got the shoulders down. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Digging deep for a kick out. He is not going to go down without a fight, Michael. <laughs> the Viper getting absolutely pounded right now. Randy Orton got the worst end of that stick. Ooh, what a comeback. He might have it. He's going for it all. Oh, man, what a hit. Locked right off the apron. Oh, man, what a hit. Locked right off the apron. Oh, this
this is dangerous right here. Look at this. Oh, he's such a tough target. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. You gotta believe this one's over. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh man, what a light drop! Here's his moment, Michael. And here comes Orton. Putting it all on the line. Looking for a repeat. Harsh impact. This one is oh, He's got him covered. Two. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Two behind it. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. He's looking at it. Kyle Driver spiked him. Can he finish him off here? And he goes for the pin. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. Three. Escapes trouble there. Watch this here. Triple H is on fire, letting everyone know how he feels. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's out there in no man's land. And he's got to find a way to get the safety, Cole. I'm not sure he can. Guys, it's imperative he gets back in the ring. Yeah, otherwise he's looking at a count out. <laughs> 